We have to talk about this new bistro table I just made for my dining area. Recently I've noticed stone, concrete, and textured pieces have become a big trend in home decor. If you follow me on Instagram then you know I recently made a trip to the Crate and Barrel outlet store here in LA and fell madly in love with these stone and textured tables. The textured look isn't typically my style but I immediately thought of my sad little kitchen table and pictured how fabulous a table like this would look in that space. However, even with outlet prices, I couldn't quite afford to bring this one home, but if y'all know, y'all know, so I immediately started brainstorming ways to create this textured table myself. To create the structure of my table, I flipped a 28 inch tall outdoor planner upside down and used industrial strength liquid nails to attach a 24 inch wood round to the top. Now in my online research, I found tons of different tutorials, each showing a different way to achieve this textured look. I settled on using a plaster of Paris mix. To create the mixture, I followed the directions on the back of the box, mixing two parts plaster and one part water until it was smooth like pancake mix. During my design process, I decided I wanted my table to actually look like a heavy cement but obviously not cement. So to achieve this look, I added a slate gray acrylic paint to my plaster of Paris mix, mixing it until it looks like, well, wet cement. From here, I started applying. I quickly realized there's no one right way to apply your mixture. I used a hard bristle brush. I applied one coat, let it dry for a second, and then applied another. My biggest tip for this project is to move fast. The plaster mixture dries so quick. Learn from my mistake and make your mixtures in small batches so it doesn't dry out before you have a chance to apply it. Oh, also, this process is a menace to a manicure, so the optimal time for this project is before you have a fresh coat of paint. In total, I applied two coats and left it to dry overnight. After the pieces dry, you can use a sand block to shave down any rough edges and create a smoother texture. I, however, loved the rough texture and opted to leave it as is because it was giving big cement vibes. When you're done, spray the table with a polyurethane protective coat. I've made the decision to cover my table with a 24 inch glass round just to keep it extra safe from spills and messes, but that part is optional. 